This old guy DIY video has to do with the continuing adventure trying to get fuel flow on this Kubota. And now I'll summarize all the stuff that's happened in the last three days. So three days ago I went to start this thing. It wouldn't start. I thought it was gelled fuel. I got the heat lamp. I went and heated a bunch of stuff up. Then I started at the filter. I had good flow at the filter. I came over here to this outlet line that was going to the pump and there was no flow, I'm sorry, there was flow here, but there was no flow out of the pump, so I thought I had a bad pump. So I put the electric pump in. That worked fine on a day that was 31 degrees. I plowed for three hours with no issue. Let the tractor sit for a day. Came out here when it was three degrees. It wouldn't start. So I wasn't sure what my issue was. And I ended up uh, disassembling this piece that went into the electric pump and there was no flow there. So then I came back, and pulled the filter off, and the filter or the filter housing was only about a third full of fuel. When I pulled the housing off, there was no flow there, and uh, you can do whatever you want with the valve here, and nothing changes. So looking at these little tiny lines, and since it's nine degrees right now, I thought to troubleshoot it and make sure that my issue is lack of fuel flow, I would jump out that whole system, run a line from the fuel tank right down to the rail. I did that, the thing took off and ran just fine. So now it's time for me to go back and get some other pieces. Oh, and after I saw there was no fuel down here, I left the heat lamp on it for an hour and a half, just in case it was something that was frozen up again, and that didn't fix it. So now it's time to disassemble this bottom end and uh, replace the lines and see where we go from there. So today I was thinking, Hey, if I go down here and pull all these different lines off that lead to the fuel filter, they're just little tiny lines anyway, and all they're going to tell me is that I have an obstruction in the tank. So when I pulled this filter off, I did find some chunks of rust and that type of thing. So right now I'm going to try to dislodge the crap that's in the tank first. I have this magic wand here. I'm going to take that to the bottom of the tank and just try to blow around where that filter should be and see if I can get some fuel flow. If so, I'll probably stop there for right now and go plow the driveway. If not, I'm going to take this shop back and I'm just going to suck all the fuel out of this thing and take a flashlight, shine down in there and actually see what's going on. So we'll check it out right now. Well, I tried the magic wand without success, so now I'm going to suck the diesel fuel out of the tank. My efforts to blow out the tank and vacuum out the tank and heat everything on the bottom end were unsuccessful. So now it's time for me to uh, go to plan C. I'm going to mount an auxiliary tank to this thing. Well, it turns out the lines down here were actually frozen. I put the heat lamp on this thing for an hour and I went to town and got a fitting because I was gonna make an auxiliary fuel tank. When I came back, we have diesel fuel in the filter. If I turn on my little pump, I can pump fuel. So I'm going to put this thing back together and see if the tractor runs. Well, here's the wrap up. I just spent an hour and a half plowing. Everything went well. My final solution was to run this line. This is the output that goes to the injectors. And then I have this electric fuel pump in there. And it comes into the line here. It comes from the fuel tank. And everything is good over here. So I had two problems when this great adventure started. The first is my little lift or transfer pump failed. And secondly, I ended up with frozen fuel. So this morning when I went through and vacuumed all the fuel out of the tank and got all the crap out of there and then ran to town and in the meantime I had my heat lamp down here what I learned is in the future if I'm going to put a heat lamp in it's going to be right down here because the lines are smallest coming from the fuel tank so I'll put the lamp on down there and uh, hopefully things will take off when they're supposed to but I learned a lot in this adventure tractor by net is a great resource if you want to read and also I believe it's orange tractors where they talk about Kubotas. Oh, and one last thing, after my adventure here this week, I went and got some of this Hot Shots Secret 
diesel winter anti-gel based on what I found on the internet it's the most effective stuff it cost me 16 bucks for this 16 ounce bottle and based on what it says here uh, one ounce will treat eight gallons so the other thing is when I read it I thought oh maybe this is like Drano you can put it into a tank that already has gelled fuel and it'll find its way to the bottom and help and it says no you have to put it in the fuel beforehand and then as the tractor is running and you have everything being shaken around it mixes with the diesel fuel and prevents the gelling so I put that stuff in there we'll see if it keeps me from having a problem in the future and that's it have a great day